Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. What you got there? I got a Deadpool. Never you mind. see that? Wow, that's crazy. What do you have there? A T-Rex. A T-Rex. It looks scary, huh? Does it make sound? Okay. All right. Can you guys move out a little bit so I can make a video? All right. It's been a while. <laughs> we don't have much space here in the uh, side of the, the house. You can see here. Uh, and you can see all this all this uh, growing space here is, is pretty much covered with weeds and uh, over the winter because we had a lot of rain in Southern California. Well, I want to say hi to everyone, hi friends. Uh, I haven't made a video in a long time, so I want to make this one video uh, for a particular person or a power couple life, I think. Uh, she was asking me about a passion fruit plant. So today is beautiful Sunday. March, what, March 19? Yeah, beautiful afternoon, and I'm gonna come out here and make a video for you, for, for you guys. Okay, so let's drop right in. Uh, again, I have to really clean up a lot of stuff here before I can grow anything. The temperature is warming up, uh, and so the weeds kind of start taking roots down. All right, so today our subject will be this plant right here. Hi, what's going on? You need water. You need water? Okay, can you go in? They need making a video. The door is locked. Okay, give me one second, okay? See that? That's why I tell everybody that I don't... I'm very busy, I don't have enough time. Both of my kids are in kindergarten right now, and the other older one, it's, uh, it's in fifth grade. So I have my hand full. But again, let's, let's really quick uh, go over this, this plant. So this is a passion fruit. I've been growing this in, in this pot. Uh, this is a one-gallon pot. Uh, it's from seeds. By the way, the seeds actually come from my original plant from my other house. And uh, of course, I had fruit. I just spread all the seed all over the place. And when it's germinated in the summer, uh, I move one of them into this, this um, one gallon pot just to shelter it from the winter. Uh, you know, let it grow before I, I put them in the ground. Because when it's tiny, when you put them in the ground, most likely they will not survive the cold the insect will attack them and uh, okay so here this one is about maybe over 14 inches uh, tall as you can see all the leaves here uh, this one I call it blay you know whatever I don't know I call it blay this is still considered the the baby leaves the baby leaves of the passion fruit uh, as you know the passion fruit has kind of like triangular three blay uh, so this is still a uh, baby leaves. Uh, I think in my other video I actually have a, a my other video I actually show you guys that the difference between the baby leaves and the mature leaves. But anyway uh, also the tendril so it start developing tendril now you can see here. So this tendril is like like arms of plants. They use that to grab onto the stick or something that's going to pull themselves up. And also they start producing kind of side shoots you can see here. Um, and, and at the bottom of the base, you can see this coloration is changing. It's a little bit uh, brownish, right? So it's not totally green. When it's totally green, that means when it's, it's real young and tender. So once once you get this color, that means it's, it's hardening up. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure the root systems are developed pretty well now. And it's very nice and green. Um, so like I say, I've been sheltering this for over, over the winter. Uh, I put them under my patios. And now it's getting warmer, so it's it's gonna it's gonna start growing. So eventually, I'll I'll, I'll plant in this this section right here, this this particular this exact spot right here. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot of people have a lot of junk to this. You know, I rent this place. <laughs> so, but eventually I'll clean up all this, and all this here is, is ready to go. All this here, I cut them into you know this is five feet, five feet by. Um, six feet or something like that yeah five feet by six feet trellis uh, the wiring mesh i can erect them and allow the passion fruit to climb up and grow all the way down there somewhere that's my plan okay and starting from this spot here and going down that way and of course the wall it's, it's six feet tall you can see the brick wall okay so that's that's the plan so again if if your passion fruit is only several inches um, I don't recommend you plant them in the ground yet uh, because this is very susceptible to insect attack. 
Um, and I don't know how, where you live, uh, which region you live, uh, where there's a lot of slug and snail, and they, they really <laughs> can, 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 can eat up your plant in a single night. Okay, so this one, you can see, let me move them around. This is about maybe 14 inches now, and the leaves are very healthy looking there. Even though the baby leaves, it's very, it's quite big and long. And eventually, they will produce the, the mature leaves uh, once they reach a certain height. Okay, um, I will prep the, the, the spot here with a lot of compost. So they need a lot of drainage. Dry, uh, passion fruit leaves a lot of drainage. Uh, and of course, they need to be warm. Uh, the warmth has to be there, otherwise they will not grow. After all, they are tropical, come from the tropical, so they need a lot of warmth. All right, I hope I answer some of the questions. Um, and again, I'm holding camera, I don't have a tripod. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just making this home video. Um, and once I plant this, I will make another video and then I will wreck the trellis somewhere here and I will make another video to show you guys and see the plan works out like like my old house where I have the beautiful passion fruit that grow, you know, hundreds of feet covering my entire yard. But of course I don't have the yard here, I just have the backyard here. So okay, so we just we just take it one step at a time. Alrighty, what well, Thank you for watching and, and again please subscribe and tune in so we can make these videos and then the video will come directly to you. And thank you for watching and happy gardening.